Okay, Tom here with another video. This is kind of a part two video on our email discussion. In part one, I showed how you can create new email addresses for your own domain name in your web hosting account. And then you can manage those in Gmail. And I, I did that here. I have my Gmail account open and I actually added three more accounts so I can manage all of these just by logging into Gmail one time. Now to take this a step further in this video I'm going to show how you can manage your Gmail account using an email client such as Thunderbird. You could also do it with Outlook and I just got finished creating a video tutorial on how to configure Gmail for Outlook and this one's going to be the same thing going through the same steps but doing it for Thunderbird. Now you don't have to use an email client. You can manage your account just as easily using your browser and logging into Gmail. But some of us like to use email clients. That's why I created the Outlook video and that's why we're going to do Thunderbird right now. So let's get started. So I've already logged into my Gmail account and what we want to do next is go to settings. We want to enable IMAP and so we click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP here and because I did a video on setting this up for Outlook I already enabled it but by default on your Gmail account you might find that it's disabled so you just set it to enable and click Save Changes and you're good to go there. Now we're ready to go over to our Thunderbird client here and I'm gonna click on Create New Account uh, probably I should show you how you can go to tools and account settings. That's probably a, a better route to take. And down here we have a, a button in the account settings and I want to do add account. It says Gmail here but we want to select email account which is already pre-selected. So I want to put my name in here. This is what people are going to see when they receive emails from me. This is techie DIY at gmail.com. Next. Very important, we want to select IMAP. And the IMAP incoming server for Gmail is imap.gmail.com. Next. Incoming username. We have to stick the gmail.com on there. The account name. Uh, just. Uh, make this look nice. This is going to show up in my um, in Thunderbird here. So make it look nice. Okay, done. Now we click on server settings. Uh, if you noticed, uh, we have an entry here for Techie DIY. These are all the accounts. So I've got other accounts in here. And we have a new entry here for Techie DIY and we want to go through these. These are all the options. The port is not 143, so let's go to our Gmail help here and look for the ports. Okay, so it's 993. I should know this by now after doing these. 993. Username is correct, and we want to do SSL. And sure, check new messages on startup every 10 minutes that's fine with me when I delete a message move it to trash uh, empty trash on exit uh, these are personal options these are totally up to you in fact I think I'll probably skip most of these uh, not to confuse you um, but you can see that there's a, a grouping for all the different types of uh, options so I'll just go through these later when I'm done setting this up but I've got the most important things. You want to make sure the port is 993 according to the Gmail documentation. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is you want to configure your outgoing server down here. So I've already got a Gmail SMTB outgoing server set up because I have another Gmail account that I'm managing. But I'm going to go ahead and add one anyway. So I'll just call this Gmail2 and it's SMTP 
is the server name. And the port, let's refer to our documentation here, is 587. And the username is techiediy at gmail.com. And we want to select TLS like the little picture here. Okay. Now, if you notice, there wasn't any place to put in the password, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. There's an option to put in your password every time you check mail and every time you receive mail. Uh, that's kind of a drag, but there's a setting that allows us to save the password so we don't have to put it in every time. But it's not here. Uh, we, it's actually done when we're checking mail. So I'm all done here. Um, I've set up the outgoing SMTP server. I've got my new account set up. Um, with the critical settings and I'll go back through and put in all my personal options later. But at this point we're good to go. So I'll click OK. Now here's my new mailbox. And see it's trying to check mail. I clicked on my inbox and so it wants to check mail. Now it's asking me for my password that I was uh, telling you about. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And this checkbox, use password manager to remember this password. If I click this, then I won't get this box anymore. So it's this is a security option. You can leave this unchecked and you can put your password in every time if you're paranoid. And if you're comfortable with having the, using the password manager, then you can just check this and this will be the last time I ever enter my password. So my folders are starting to pop in here because it's connecting to Gmail. Looks like everything is okay. The last thing I need to do is a test. So I have a, another account up here I'm managing and I'll use that for a test. It's actually, this is not Gmail. This is on a, um, on a domain name for a company that I do business with. So I use, a, uh, I use one of their email addresses. So let me write a new message and I'll send that to Techie DIY gmail.com. This is a test. This is a test. Send that off. Okay. Okay, so let's go over here to my Techie DIY account and I can see that I got a message. And if I hover over the name here, I can see where it came from. It came from Tom at datamaticsystems.com. So far, so good. Let me reply back. Okay, let's go up to my Datamatics account. And this is a pop server, so I have to click get mail. And there we go. Thanks for the test. So everything's working. So you can see it wasn't very hard. It took me about five minutes. I just needed the settings from Gmail help uh, to let me know what the ports are. And you could go through this and, and read this in detail. And it will show you step by step some of the things that I did in the video. And you can get to this just by searching Google for configure Gmail for Thunderbird or some search term like that. We'll bring you right to here. And now I can manage my Gmail accounts in Thunderbird, which is what I wanted. I do have another video on this as a reminder for Outlook users. And you should see that among the list of videos that I have made available. So I hope this has been helpful. And please stay tuned for the next video.